Big New Brzezinski, uh, I think more than a year ago, gave a speech at the Montreal, Canada branch of the CFR, warning that a widespread global awakening was taking place. And we're going to play that clip right now, but he has not backed off from that statement. First time in all of human history, mankind is politically awakened. That's a total new reality. Total new reality. It has not been so for most of human history until the last 100 years. And in the course of the last 100 years, the whole world has become politically awakened. And no matter where you go, politics is a matter of social engagement. And most people know what is generally going on, generally going on in the world, and are consciously aware of global iniquities, inequalities, lack of respect, exploitation. Mankind is now politically awakened and stirring. The combination of the two, a diversified global leadership, politically awakened masses, makes a much more difficult context for any major power, including currently the leading world power, the United States. So humanity is awake and staring, as the big news Brzezinski puts it, and the elite are concerned about this. They're dealing with it. If you're new to the big new Brzezinski or this broadcast, he was the former national security advisor under Carter, and he's one of the true geostrategic visionaries for the elite. Uh, he, like others, works towards the one world government. Uh, in the 70s, he covertly helped put the Taliban into power to oppose the Soviets, and he has this whole long game for the grand chessboard, as he calls it, and, and how the American superpower is going to stave off Russia and China. But he's admitted uh, that basically is failing. There are new emerging world powers, India, Brazil, China, Russia, among others. And though those powers are themselves changing America's hegemony over the world, uh, the British, Anglo, American Empire, and the other players in NATO and so forth. And that's all part of his new book, Strategic Vision. And we've got an excerpt here from it where he continues to talk about the awakening of humanity as a major factor. Indeed, the changing distribution of global power and the new phenomenon of massive political awakening intensify, each in its own way, the volatility of contemporary international relations. Uh, that's an excerpt from his intro, as is this quote, uh, with the foregoing in mind, this book seeks to respond to four major questions. So he's got four major questions in this book. And number one of these major questions is what are the implications of the changing distribution of global power from west to east, and how is it being affected by the new reality of politically awakened humanity? Now, what are we really talking about here? What are the elite concerned about when we talk about this global political awakening of humanity? We're talking about people who are aware of their covert hidden agenda for a one world order. Uh, people have been talking about this for decades, since the 50s. Uh, the roots of it are even deeper. But now, thanks to the flow of information, thanks to the Internet, a lot of people are awakened to it. These elitists are being confronted everywhere. And this really is and always has been an information war. The only difference is in the past hundreds of years, the past thousands of years, it's always been the tiny niches of royalty, of kingships, of priest classes who held most of the important knowledge. Uh, literacy was kept down amongst the masses uh, in relation to this reason. But now we have worldwide literacy, even though a lot of people are pissing that away, and it's very sad. And that literacy comes at a time when we have this global Internet age. We have a short window of time when a lot of people have the chance to know what's really going on with these global elites, see their power for what it is, and uh, if we can, seek to change the dimensions of those power. Now, of course, other foreign powers, China, Russia, uh, they're not the friends of humanity either. They're on the chessboard, though, and it's going to be important what decisions they make as well. That for the first time in human history, for the first time in all of human history, Almost all of mankind is politically awake, activated, politically conscious, and interactive. There are only a few pockets of humanity here or there in the remotest corners of the world which are not politically alert and interactive with the political turmoil and stirrings and aspirations around the world. And these new and old major powers face 
still yet another novel reality, in some respects unprecedented. And it is that while the lethality, the lethality of their power is greater than ever, their capacity to impose control over the politically awakened masses of the world is at a historical low. I once put it rather pungently, and I was flattered that the British Foreign Secretary repeated this as follows. Namely, in earlier times, it was easier to control a million people, literally. It was easier to control a million people than physically to kill a million people. Today, it is infinitely easier to kill a million people than to control a million people. It is easier to kill than to control. And of course, that bears directly on the use of force.